pediatric lecture followed by pediatrics. And I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Brandon Verdorn. He is a geriatrician at Mayo Clinic and as someone more eloquently than I said, he is a geriatrician with a palliative care provider heart. So welcome Dr. Verdorn. All right, good morning everyone. Thanks very much, uh, Dr. Moshler. So thanks everyone for being here early. I know as the week goes on and we all get adjusted to the time change, it's harder and harder to roll out of bed early in the morning. So I appreciate you joining me. I've got 25 minutes to tell you everything there possibly is to know about managing pain in the older adult. Um, so we're gonna focus this a bit and uh, I'm gonna focus on um, opioids for non-cancer pain in the older adult and try to give you guys some pearls that you might be able to use in those uh, situations. And so hopefully everybody will walk away this morning with you know, at least one useful nugget that they can take back to their practice uh, on Monday morning. So I don't have anything to disclose. So I hope at the end of today's talk that you'll feel comfortable assessing pain in cognitively impaired patients, that you'll be able to describe some unique factors in your older patients that affect uh, opioid choice, dose, and frequency, that you understand the relationship between some common geriatric syndromes and opioid use, and that you'll feel comfortable safely using opioids within the context of, of multimorbidity and polypharmacy. And so just a, a quick intro slide, you've all seen this before, so this is our aging population. Current projections are that by 2060, we'll have about 100 million people that are 65 or older in our country. That's about twice what it is now. If you juxtapose that with the fact that not a lot of people are going into geriatric medicine, there's fewer than uh, four new fellows per state per year. Um, there's a big mismatch between how many older adults we're gonna have and how many physicians kind of specifically trained in the, the care of that patient population. So the point is it's gonna be all of you um, that's, that's going to be doing geriatric medicine. So I think it's important for everybody to have kind of a basic working knowledge of, you know, how to, how to best care for this population. So just a little more background here on chronic pain in the elderly. We know that it's common. Estimates about 50% of older adults in the community have chronic pain of some sort. Numbers higher than that when you get into institutionalized older adults where it becomes nearly universal. And importantly, that patient population is a place where it's uh, oftentimes completely unrecognized and untreated. Many of the conditions we think about putting people at risk for chronic pain become more prevalent with advancing age, as you can see there. And then we know pain has a lot of consequences.